Well, Aaron, this was a huge takedown for Salinas Police and its violence suppression unit, an illegal gambling operation that was a front for prison gangs now out of business. They were setting up illegal gambling activities. Salinas police breaking up two illegal gaming operations in Salinas early Friday morning, and they gave us an exclusive look inside this gaming house on the 1100 block of Madison Lane, where gamers gathered around these large video games and gambled at odd hours of the night. They're paying to get in, they're paying to gamble, and what we also believe is those two locations that we hit, they're also a front for prison gangs to conduct their money laundering through those locations. Police say the illegal gambling operations were also a front for drug dealing. Another operation was busted up on the 1200 block of North Main Street. But police say this gaming house on Madison Lane was the heart of the operation. Neighbors noticed a change when the new renters moved in. And then they raised the fences up and made them where you couldn't see through. And at night, this whole area is all active late at night. There used to be no one down here. We have cameras on the building. We can see cars going by all night long now and turn around in our driveway, which we never had before. Salinas Police, CHP, and U.S. Marshals raided four locations early Friday morning. Two people were arrested, guns, drugs, and money hauled away. But the focus was clearly on the illegal casinos. Police also hauled away what appeared to be video poker games and more than 60 computers. This investigation extending way beyond Salinas. So the investigation is extended into the prison, uh, prison gangs along with local gangs and it's actually extended into the state of California and the United States as we have found connections to other locations that we're currently investigating. And so is police now working with their federal partners and the State Bureau of Gambling Control with regards to that last comment. But this is an investigation that unfolded early last year after neighbors started reporting suspicious activity. Aaron. All right, Felix, thank you. So two people who were arrested have now been identified as George Yacoub and Osama Attila. Police say more arrests may follow.